What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Listen, <laughs> how many of y'all know, like, I know I'm not the only one that knows somebody who eats McDonald's on a regular basis, like, all the time, every chance you see them. And then you know, also know somebody with kids, right? That they feed their kids Happy Meals every chance they get, right? We all know somebody like that, bro. Like, some of us used to be that person. I used to, back in the day, eat a lot of McDonald's. Not, not heavily like I've seen some of my homeboys or some of my friends or some people I know. But we all know people that had just OD'd on McDonald's, right? Today, we're going to learn <laughs> how it's made. The Chicken McNugget, bro. The Chicken McNugget. Now, this could go either two ways. They'll keep it professional, and you know what I mean? They'll just keep it brief and give us little insights. Or it could be, like, horrible, and by the time you're done, you're just holding your stomach like, I'll never eat McDonald's again. Ooh. Like, <laughs> I'm hoping it's that one. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But we're going to see, right? So this video is how it's made McDonald's chicken nuggets. Um, and I ain't going to lie, man. <laughs> I kind of I kind of am like hesitant, fam, to, to check this video out, bro. Because I just know we're going to see something probably that is just going to turn our stomachs. Like you wring a rag out. It's going to turn our stomachs up, bro. But... We're going to do it, all right? It's been requested, so we're going to do it. So if you're new to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button, join the fam, and uh, here we go. Just hit the button, L. Just just hit the button. Hit the... All right, I'm going to do it. So we've been asking consumers for their questions about McDonald's food. Number one category by far, chicken McNuggets. Specifically, what's in the chicken McNugget? So I'm here at the Tyson plant in Tennessee on this gorgeous day. Oh, they're going to keep it professional. They had the Tyson plant. They're going to keep it professional. To get you some answers. All right, time to suit up and boot up. Well, here we are in Tyson Foods Obine County facility, which is one of five facilities in the United States that make chicken McNuggets for McDonald's. Now, my initial reaction is that there's a lot of people here. Because, you know, the people think that you just come to the... Look at the chickens, bro. The reaction is that there's a lot of people here. Cause it's an assembly line of chicken, bro. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh. You know, the people think that you just come to this giant factory, you have a bin of chickens, you put it into a grinder, and you grind them up, and you pour that into a mold, and that's what's used to make a chicken McNugget. That's not true. All right, I'm going to show you a picture. Here, give me okay. that picture. If you do a search on the internet for Chicken McNuggets, this uh, pops up. What is this? Oh, uh, that looked like one of them videos where you see a snake curled up in a box. Or it looked like the ice cream machine when you pull a lever and you let the ice cream down into a cone or a bowl, whatever you get ready to put it in, and it do it like that, and it come down in like that. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's what we eat, man. That can't be good for us, bro. <laughs> and I don't know where that picture came from, but that's not used in chicken McNuggets. Woo! Now, they say that this is Thank God. pink slime. So if you grind up the parts of the chicken that you use, does it look like this? No, and we'll see that later in the process today. All right. <laughs> Amy, this blows my mind. I mean, there are multiple lines of people making cuts on the chicken, just like you would at home or just like a butcher would. Absolutely. Right here is a whole cut up chicken. So you can see here, we've got the dark meat with the drum. Is it just me? Or maybe it's just all the coronavirus talks. Like, shouldn't they have a mask on? I don't want you breathing all over my chicken. Everybody in that line didn't have a mask on. I mean, there are multiple. Look at all those people just breathing all over your chicken. All over your chicken, bro. All over your chicken. Stick. 
multiple lines of people making cuts on the chicken, just like you would at home or just like a butcher would. Absolutely. Right here is a whole cut up chicken. So you can see here, we've got the dark meat with the drumsticks and the thighs, which does not go in Chicken McNuggets. And then you've got the breast meat yep. with the rib meat and the chicken tenderloins, which do go into Chicken McNuggets. Now, before we make the McNuggets, we remove this skin. Yeah. And then we later add a small portion back for flavor in the Chicken McNuggets. For flavor. For flavor. Everybody likes a little bit of chicken skin. Sure. This is the only part of the chicken that goes into the Chicken McNugget. Absolutely. Nothing else. Nothing else. No beaks. No beaks. No feet. No feet. Okay, Amy, so what do we see? Now that looks nasty, bro. That looks like, uh, that looks like after you done had more drinks than you were supposed to, and you didn't stop, and you headed to the toilet, and that looks like what comes out of you, bro. Seeing here. So this is our grinding operation. This is 100% white meat chicken. So the exact same cuts that you saw previously. And then this is the actual grinding plate that we use to grind the chicken. You know, this looks like a pretty coarse grind, much coarser than you'd find, say, in a supermarket. Absolutely. We grind it to give you that really meaty texture that you expect in Chicken McNugget. Y'all still hungry? <sighs> okay. So there's still a couple more steps to go through. What is happening here? I can't stop watching it. It's like a lava lamp. <laughs> so this is the machine that combines all of the ingredients together. This is the same chicken you saw earlier, mixed with the chicken skin and the marination. Are those ingredients secret? No, they're not. So the full list is on the website. But some of the ingredients are water, sodium phosphates, and food starch, which give us that really juicy bite to the Chicken McNugget. Okay. I'm gonna read everything. Water, sodium phosphates, food starch modified, salt, natural flavoring. What's natural flavoring? Yummy. Wheat starch, dextrose, citric acid, uh, autolyzed yeast extract, rosemary extract, and safflower oil. Mmm, yummy. I have no idea what half that stuff is. Okay. And then it's also salt to really increase the flavor of the product. And finally, rosemary extract, which is a natural antioxidant that protects the flavor of the product throughout its shelf life. So this is the final blended product. Give me that picture. Let me see it. See this? This is what people think the final step looks like, but it's got a completely different texture. Exactly. What do y'all think that smell like, though? Like, what could that possibly smell like? That still looks like me. Absolutely. So, Amy, this is it. This is, this is where the nuggets are formed. Yes. Each nugget goes through a very thin layer of batter, yeah. followed by a thin layer of breader. And that breader contains some of the flavor components such as celery and white pepper. Okay. And that's all I can smell the white pepper. Yeah, actually. absolutely. Um, and then the final step is what the heck is white pepper? Somebody put me on game. What's white pepper? I ain't never heard of white pepper before. I can smell the white pepper. No, you can't. I hate when people be like, oh, I can smell the white pepper. No, you can't. You can't smell the white pepper, bro. Like, no. Like, I don't know. I'm lost, but anyway, back to it. It's the tempura coating or a thicker batter, which is really unique to the nugget. It's a blend of wheat flour, corn flour, starches, and leavening agents, and the leavening agents aerate the batter, and that's what makes the nuggets really unique. Oh man, Amy. First of all, it smells so good in here. It does. So they've been through the fryer here at the plant. So as you can see, we only partially cook them here in the plant. And basically we just, we do that to set the tempura batter. Oh, so yeah, it's raw inside. Absolutely. So that's just to get this texture. Yes. And then they cook them when they get to the, the McDonald's. Yes, they fully cook them in the McDonald's restaurant. Yes. They'll be flash frozen again to lock in the juiciness and the flavor. And then they'll be bagged and boxed and on their way to the restaurant. Would you like to try one? We can go see Gina in the kitchen. Yeah, she's cooking them up right now. Yeah. Will you be mad if I tell you I haven't had a McNugget in a long, long time? 
So Gina, what do you do here? So we are in our sensory kitchen where we evaluate nuggets every hour off the line. So you eat chicken nuggets every hour? Absolutely. All right, so what's a perfect? And what? Somebody has the job, let me get this correct. Somebody has the job of eating chicken nuggets, their fam. I would be the size of the building. Eating chicken nuggets every hour? Nugget. So first we evaluate on appearance. So we want to make sure that it's a light golden brown. Okay. Make sure that it has ridges and peaks. Yes. And then you need to have a slightly firm texture, okay. but it's still juicy. Yes. And okay. then from a flavor perspective, we want to make sure that you pick up on a chicken flavor as well as some slight pepper and celery notes. Should we try one? Let's try one. All right. I'm a barbecue man myself. What about you? Sweet and sour. Uh-huh. Oh, see, that's the experience that I remember. That reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that. She didn't really eat one. I don't trust nobody who don't eat their product, bro. Watch this. She kind of, like, stuck it in her mouth to where she it looked like she ate it on camera, but you could tell she later spit it out. Look at her. Childhood. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all yeah, saw that, right? Like a little half of a chew? Nah, 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 fam. So I've been in the facility. I've seen how they make the chicken McNuggets and exactly what goes into them. And I know a lot of you are expecting pink slime or the whole chicken, beak and claws and everything. But that's not the case. The reality is that they're made with white meat chicken. There's no mystery. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been there. It is what they say it is. Now, I know you've got a lot of questions. I've got a lot of questions, too. So you keep asking, and I'll find the answers. Good. I ain't gonna lie, though. I, I thought it would be made out of some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? But they call it Chicken McNuggets. I didn't know they actually made it from, like, an actual whole chicken. And, and use the actual chicken, but they added some other stuff to it though. It still makes it like, to me, not the, I don't know. Maybe the, eh. I was always taught that it wasn't that healthy to be eating McDonald's all crazy like that, but they actually did use real chicken. So I don't know where my health fanatics at. That's who I need to hear from. What do y'all think? What's your insight? My health fanatics, I need to hear from y'all. All right, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned, man, until the next reaction of my peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.